Pick up graphic skills with creativity. Yeah, good day guys welcome back to the good graphic design training hope you guys is doing absolutely great uh, as i said i'm going to show you how you can make a, an instagram post design on your android smartphone using your pc lab so without wasting much of our time let's dive into this the first thing to do is to determine the kind of size you want to use so i'm using a custom size called square size which is one two 1024 by 1024. Having got this, we are going to use the gradient as part of our background. You can actually copy the code for this where you click on the uh, color pocket, click on the pencil, and you type 020828. When you type this on the first keyframe, you go to the second one, tap on it, click click on the color packet pocket then you tap on the pencil then type the second one 00294f when you type it automatically you will have this color at your fingertips so after that the next thing that i'm going to do is to go to shape then we crop our shape exactly like this now we we'll go to rotation we we'll rotate to hmm, they go to after having it this way then let's check the size let's see we have 13 by 65 mm, good so after that we have our rotation to be 20 let's rotate to something like 25 very good so now that we have it this way, then we are going to position it at this uh, junction. So we'll move it to this side and uh, we'll make sure that uh, we we'll position it here. So after that, we are going to copy, then we make it uh, go up a little bit than this one. Perfect. Now we we'll bring this one here. We do the same thing. We we'll make sure that it actually rhyme. So we'll position it here perfect so now after that we are going to copy it again then we we'll make sure that uh, we we'll position this here to make it a uh, rhyme as well perfect so now that uh, we have everything being uh, being organized here the next thing that we're going to do is to i want to merge everything but i'm not merging i'm going to make everything click on this uh, icon beside delete then you tap on center then you centralize the whole thing very good good so after centralizing the whole thing the next thing i'm still baffled with here is to make sure that uh, i move it in a little bit then we move this one in a little bit We'll go here by moving it in a little bit very good so now everything is actually plumb so i'm going to repeat the same process by positioning it to the middle so after getting it to the middle then i'm going to merge go to the shape exactly like this so i'm getting to the shape uh, the next thing I'm going to do So now after selecting this then the next thing we are going to do we are going to give a dark background color Sorry, we are going to apply the background color to this So on selecting this we are get sending it back Then we merge everything together exactly like this so we go to the erase color and erase everything as you can see so we go to our stroke right now so that uh, we make everything look real by applying this 
make it to be like a three or four now that we have this so i'm going to my color i mean to the image i want to use which is uh, this image so i'm bringing it down here by scaling it then i'm going to send it to the back then you can see the results very cool so i can do a kind of adjustment little if i actually want it then you can see the results now we lock the two together then we'll go on with our right up so after locking it this way then we'll go here by selecting the circle and um, selecting triangle make it circle opacity to be zero then we make our stroke to something like this then we reduce the size reduce the content as well so after we are able to do this you reduce it to minimal level give it a white color then we are going to position it around here you can reduce the size if you want so on getting here the next thing you are going to do reduce the opacity to make it look like you are blending it so that it will not be too obvious after selecting that the next thing is to copy we are going to position it to every area we want it to be a pair so now we have this then let me move it up so good we can reduce the size if you are not convey comfortable with how big it is now we have this we copy again let me move it to this side again very good then we have this again so we are going to our shape again selecting the triangle our opacity to be zero then let's make our stroke to something like three so we have this we are going to the color after selecting this by giving this a white color as you share then after that we are going to sorry we are going to repeat the same process we repeat the same process so as you can see then we apply our color so we can rotate the way we want it if that's how we want it then we'll bring it down to this particular area so now we can apply the same process by reducing the opacity then we'll position it well now this one is good copy after copy we are going to bring it down to this particular area so bring it down here then we can rotate back now we copy then we bring it down just position it around here increase the size a bit very good now that we have everything being positioned we are going back to our gallery then we are going to import other elements so we are coming here just bringing this so i'm not cropping but i have a magic that i normally use so that the color will not be fit if you crop it it will affect definitely affect the quality of the uh, image so i don't want it to be affected so that's why I'm trying to use a eraser and use a cutout to cut it. So now, since I got this, I will position this around here. Now I'm going to copy, then bring it down here again. As you can see, bring it here. Getting it here, we can bring this one down here. Very good. So now all these are so long. I'm going back to my gallery, bringing this here. Yeah, I'm bringing this. I'll position it around here, which you can see. Then, after position it here, I'm going to my shape. As you can see, going to my shape. Then, 
make it circle, opacity zero, then stroke something like three or two. So after that, I'm giving it different color. I will now reduce the size, streamline it and position it under here. So I'm positioning it under here. Very good. You can see. But one thing is I can reduce the stroke so that it won't be as thick as that. Very good. So now I have everything. I've set it the way I want. Very good. So the next thing I'm going to do is to tight. So now let's put our right up. So we have a new arrival. New arrival. Yeah. Then we go to the font and we select a railway font, which will be something extra boot should be okay. So we have a railway font. So let's try another font. Let's see Montezera. Montezera font. Then uh, we use an extra boot. Uh, so let's look at this. Whether the Montessera could be okay with it after increasing, or we use uh, this. Uh, I'm going to Montessera boots. So let's look at this. This should be okay. So we 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 put this to one side. Then we are going to go on with this. So I'm reducing the size. Go to line spacing make it uh, awesome like this then i'm going to increase the size a bit if possible if you can boot if it doesn't take a boot you can apply stroke to it to make it tick if you want so after that we are going to make sure that uh, it align exactly like this then it's are going to position it here very good so now after that we are going to treat it immediately by giving different color to it so exactly like this we are going back and put a write up instagram post design instagram post design then we are not changing the font but we are reducing the position here. We we'll make it bigger to reach the extreme because of alignment, but it should be aligned properly. Let's use the line spacing to make it set up. Very good. So after this, the next thing that we are going to do is to copy copy then we have 2021 i mean 2022 you can see 2022 should be positioned here without reduction very good then we have version copy we have version then we make the color the way we want it so i want the color like this then I will reduce and make it a line. So after selecting like this, I want to space this a bit. Then everything is plumb. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm deleting this and go to select a shape where I'm going to put. So I'm reducing. It's okay now nice then have a position here so after that we make sure that they will crop this the way we want it so now that we are able to crop it we are going to leave a space there should be more distance than this 
so let there be space then we are giving it different color so we have let's say we have w w dot uh, we have instagram 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 post you can see let's see let's say website website link dot com so we are not changing anything but uh, we are changing the color so i'm using this color reducing the size and position it here now i'm going to increase So now that we have everything at the finger of our tips, I'm going to bold this, then everything is blue. So now I'm going to select everything like this. Click on the icon beside this and click on movement for you to be able to move it up all together without match. Don't match, match unnecessarily. If you match, then the quality of your design will be reduced. And that is the reason why at time when you make your own design, you discover that uh, it's not as sharp as when you are making, when you are designing it. It's as a result of unnecessary uh, merging. So after that, we are going to copy and the uh, end several finish all our design. We have a shop in capital letter. Then uh, we position, reduce the size and position inside so we reduce the size have we position here exactly like this then we are going to copy so we have a shop now so we are moving this to side two so we have which be we move it to this area so this should be reduced so that everything can fit in then we move it to one side exactly like this very good so we have shop now so this is exactly uh, how you can come up with uh, a particular flyer on your android smartphone i mean using your pc there is an error here the hierarchy alignment are not really properly placed and as you can see but we need to place it properly so so therefore we are moving this to this particular area so that uh, you can even turn your grid turn your grid and then move it to this area to see then you turn your grid to see this area too having got that then you can do your adjustment and make sure that everything is uh, is somehow aligned then okay everything is okay this one is not really affected when you look at it because this is where it reached so which means you can see adjust this to this side very good so everything is uh apps are uh, actually long like this and i believe we all learn something by watching how this is being made thank for watching and thank for sticking around to the end see you later in the new lesson like this let's have our design being saved we save in two ways we can save like this to our gallery as a nine image dimension should be ultra and format should be png for better quality after that we can save it as a project so that we can return back to it and have it be modified next time you can save it with the instagram post then we have it being saved thanks for watching once again god bless you